Lauren, thank you. Now to CBS 2's Jeremy Ross, live at Marie Newman's campaign headquarters for us. Jeremy. Rob, good evening, Erica. Marie Newman all, speaking only moments ago. She said, stay tuned. Uh, she is not ready to make a decision at this point in time. We did not hear a concession speech. We did not certainly hear a victory speech. But for the most part, she asked her campaign volunteers, her supporters, to, quote, hunker down. Now, around 9.15 this evening, everyone here was on cloud nine. That's where, for a moment, she was leading in the vote totals. That quickly changed, however. Now, unlike her opponent, she is running a campaign that is indeed pro-choice. She is backed by many political heavyweights, also pro-choice groups, including Planned Parenthood. Now, if she is successful in this campaign with her progressive message, with her more left-leaning message, that could be copied by uh, Democratic campaigns going forward. So a lot of eyes on this race, and she spoke at the podium only moments ago. Here's what she had to say. It's this close. So I would like Mr. Lipinski to have a very painful evening. So we're going to wait. Now, during that speech, she said only about 1,300 votes separated her from her opponent, and she said that there would be a 10 a.m. news conference tomorrow. So, as she had mentioned, we're just going to have to stay tuned. We are live in Bridgeport. Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Robin Erica. All right, Jeremy, thank you.